Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. And if we have, you guys know it's always good to see you again. I love it when you guys visit me and spend time with me and watch my videos and we have a little interaction, say hello, and you tell me the things you like or you think the questions you have about these items. I really enjoy doing that and I hope to continue to grow in that area on my channel. Um, today I'm here with Timu Hall number 18. With that being said, here is the envelope that I showed you that I knew I wasn't gonna get to on that last one because it's just a lot in here. So let's jump right into it and see what we have in this one. All right, so the first thing I'm going to pull out here is a pair of shoes and I am been waiting to wear these shoes, but I always have to wait until I share this stuff with you guys. And I have so many packages coming through. I just really said, you know, I just buckle down, get you a space and start recording. So that's what I'm doing. Now this is a very, very cute shoe on. I'm gonna try it on so you can see how it looks on my feet. And I, you know, I just needed to mix up my little shoe game as I'm going to the gym and working out. Um, they're not like very sturdy. They're, you know, kind of, they're not a sock shoe, but it's soft up here at the top. So, you know, you have to be careful where you wear it. Like at the gym, you can't be around somewhere where a weight or something can drop on it because you really can get hurt. But for, you know, the treadmill and all the stuff that I've been doing, which I still, I'm going to get around to sharing that with you guys. I've recorded so many workouts. I just, it's the time to sit down and edit, but I want to show you guys my uh, workout series. So anyways, this is a nice shoe and I think it really is just cute. I've been wanting to get it. The price was right because, you know, I'd be waiting for them reductions. And when they give me them reductions, I hop all over them. So yeah, so that's that one. Move it over here. And then, looks like I got another pair. I sure did. So this is the second pair I got. And this is the pink pair. Now different uh, colors kind of look differently. So this one, this one is not the pink that I thought I was gonna get. It's more of a muted, uh, neutral kind of a pink, more of a natural pink. You know how I like, like my wall, like I like bright pinks. But this I guess for a shoe and working out, you know, it's not that bad, but I still like the shoe. I will try this one on for you as well. But I don't know that I like the pink color as much as I liked this black one. Is this the same? Now look at this. This is a whole different size. I just noticed this. Why is that? What size is this pink? Goodness gracious. I literally, I didn't even know. But as I'm sticking my hand in this, I'm like, this feels small. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. So I guess it was meant to be because, you know, I wasn't too crazy about the pink color, but this shoe is too small. So I need to hurry up and let them know that so they can give me my money back. Um, and next item we have, I'm just kind of thrown off because I always check to make sure that all my stuff came through, but, and I didn't write down the date on this bag, but I didn't, um, didn't even notice. I just saw that both pairs of shoes came in, wow. All right, Wusa, Wusa, stuff like that kind of throws you off a little. Here's the next item that I ordered, and it is a roll of hooks. I'm gonna take it out of the bag so you can see it. It's clear, it's transparent. I thought this would go great in the shower when you're showering, when you're showering, showering. <laughs> Why can't I say that? Um, and you want to just hold stuff up temporarily, not to stay there forever. But you know, if, like if you're using your razor or a, a wet scrunchie or your wash rag, anything that you just want to hang temporarily and then take out with you when you get out. So I got this for that. It's adhesive. I don't know how well it, this adhesive works, but I know they have a lot of these types of items that 
you know, use adhesive to adhere to the walls. So I'm gonna give one of these a try and see how well it works for me in my shower. Cause I could certainly use the hooks. I mean, I don't know who couldn't use hooks in the shower, even if they're just temporary, you know, to hold something while you are showering. All right, this is the next item that I have. And this is something that um, I got to put my earrings in. Now, believe it or not, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. And I know you're not gonna believe me, but I promise you it's true. This right here, I think it was back in like 1990 something in the 90s, I invented this and it was called Pamper Pockets. And I didn't have the money to get them all uh, copyrighted and all of that. And mine was just a square and it was on one of those hangers, like the little poofy hangers, the little satin poofy hangers with the bowl on it. And then it was a piece of plastic that had 30 pockets on it and I called them Pamper Pockets and it was for jewelry. And I'm telling you, Somebody stole my idea. I think I know who. I was young then, I was young. I didn't know any better. I didn't know how to take it to the next level, but I promise you, we were selling them. People were buying them. My family was helping me make them. And to see these things today, this is basically what it was, but now they just have different shapes. But this is for my earrings um, or maybe my necklaces, whatever can fit. Pockets are pretty shallow. So you're not gonna get a whole lot in here which I don't like that already because I feel like they should definitely be deeper than what they are if you don't want something to fall out. But you know, they might be okay. It's not double-sided, it's only on the one side. And are all the pockets the same? No, like in the middle here, they get a little wider here in the middle. But what are the, oh, you know what? On the back, this is for uh, necklaces, I take that back. It's a piece of Velcro, I think. Or no, it's not a piece of Velcro. It's a loop like that on the back. So that's what these tags are, loops. So you can loop um, some necklaces or maybe some bracelets through the back. And then it fits over a hanger. So you take a hanger and pop it in here. And then that's how you would hang it. See how it's enclosed like that. So you can stick a hanger in here and then you can see your necklaces on the back and your earrings bracelets or whatever you want to put here on the front but yeah i i'm and i'm not even trying to be funny i created these they're called pamper pockets that's what i call them and it was really catchy and nothing was out there like this at all nothing and people were buying them we were making them as they ordered them but i just wasn't in a position to take it to the next level and every time I see one of those, I'm a little salty. <laughs> but that's a true story. Okay, here's the next item that I have, and it looks like a little dinner fork, but it actually is not a dinner fork. What it is, is for your hair, your scalp. On out. So it's something like this. And it just, if you want to scratch your hair, scratch your scalp, I should say, you can just use this to scratch it with. And it's very gentle and round, so it's not going to be sharp and, you know, cause any kind of wounds or damage to your scalp. But it's a nice little handy so you can get in there and get a good little um, scratch. Like if you had your hair in a style and you didn't want to mess it up too bad or if you had braids or something you just needed to get in there this is perfect for that so i thought um that that would be good to have on standby in case that need arises ever i mean you can use it anytime no matter if your hair is up down messy or whatever it's still something that's going to come in handy
this next item here is for the trash can and it's to hold your trash bags on your trash can so it's a set of two and then you put your trash bag over your trash can and then you just take this and you just slide it down like that and it holds the bag in place see you slide it down the side of the trash can and this just holds them in place so this is always handy when you're putting trash bags in your trash cans and you need something to hold them so that they don't go slipping all around. So I had to get a pair of these. I'm hoping that I got at least two of these, but I'll have to see, because like I say, there's a lot in this bag right here. I'm looking at all this stuff. Now, this is something, <laughs> I don't know, this is something that I think is just good to have, like if you're traveling, if you're somewhere where you can't really get to the bathroom quick enough, or the bathroom might be too far away, or whatever reason you might need to use this to relieve yourself. Let's see what it looks like, because the picture, oh, and it's got something else in here also. So this is, okay, so this is what's in the box, this piece of paper. And then we have this. Now this is what you, this lifts up some kind of way, I guess right here. And this is for women. I guess men could use it too, but you lift it up like that. And then I guess if you don't have a lot, then you can leave it like that. But if you've been drinking a case of beer, then you can open it up <laughs> and get all of that in there. So that's kind of neat. And I guess you can open it as you need it. So, and then it just pushes back down. So that's kind of handy and neat. I like how it's uh, convenient. I don't know what made me order this. I guess it's just good to have. Um, whenever you might need it. Now this also came with it. Let's see what this is. Hold on, where are my glasses? Okay. No, I don't, what is this? Oh, you know, I think this is, this is one of those things where, again, like if you're a female, <laughs> I wanna say something, but I can't. But it turns, your female parts and it seems like it turns your female part into a male part so you can relieve yourself standing up if you had on like a pair of jeans and that's about the best and nicest way i can put this let's see if there's a picture or a, a diagram oh here we go this is what it's supposed to look like in case you've never seen this before i don't know how well this would really work do you see that right there so it turns you into a, a female into a male so you can relieve yourself. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't know how well that would work, but that came with this. So it's a two piece set in reusable, hygienic, and flexible. Family portable toilet. Oh, maybe that's why both parts came in because it says it's a family portable toilet. Okay. So there you go. I guess I'm covered if I'm ever in a situation. I don't know if I keep this in the car, in the purse, where you keep something like this, you know? But anyways, I'm covered if I ever need it. So if any guys, any of you out there might need something like this, there you go, there's an option. All right, the next thing I have is, let's get some of the bigger items first so I can see 
what is left. We don't have too, too many. So I'm gonna try to keep the chit chat to a minimum. Um, okay, so next we have this. This is cute. This was cute to me and it was a good price for the cuteness and it's a little purse. About that big, like a little going out on the town purse where you don't wanna carry too much. And it comes with this strap. Is there another? Oh, it comes with two. It comes with this one, the chain, for a longer shoulder strap or a potential crossbody. Or it has this little short one. If you just, and this is, even though it's, I don't think it's metal, it's definitely, it kind of feels plastic, but it has weight to it. It, but it doesn't exactly feel metal. It's kind of misleading. It definitely doesn't feel like this, but it's a good weighted plastic if it is plastic. But anyway, so you take this, let's see if I can shove it with something and give it some shape. Let's see, let's see if we can fit some of these items in here that are waiting to be hauled and then we'll just pull them out of here. How about that? I want you to see what it looks like when the bag is full. So let's see, okay, here we go. Here's a good idea. Like if you were going out on the town. Oh, this is very cute. All right, so I just shoved it with a bunch of stuff that we have to haul. And look at that. So you got this, hold it like that. Or you got this long strap right here. And then this long strap, does it come off? Yeah, you can take it off if you want it to. It comes off if you wanted to take that off. And you could also, I want to say, if you can take it off, that means you can maybe double this somehow. Let's see. Uh, all right, so I got it off. So if I wanted to double it, what would I do? Oh, I know. So then you could take... Now this hardware is very, very chintzy though, it's very thin. So don't play around with it too much. But you can take it and loop one end if you want to make it a little shorter. So we're gonna take it like this, so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna loop one end and fold it and then bring these two over. In fact, I'm gonna just connect these two here so I only have to loop it in one time on this side like that over here okay so then you can make it even shorter and then that can just hang and be decorative so that's very cute so you got one two and then you can make it same and have three options what a cute little bag so there you go now Let's get to hauling all of this stuff that I've shoved in here. But here's a few items that I didn't show. So let's do these first. All right, so this one, this is the other uh, little hair scalp scratcher in pink, of course. You know me in pink, so I had to get it. So that's the other one that goes with this brown one. And they're just like little hands to scratch your head when you get an itch, all right. And then, now we've got some more jewelry, folks. I thought I was done. See, these have been sitting here. I forgot what I ordered. I forgot I had more jewelry. So, here we go. Fasten your seat belts. Oops, I'm taking it out of the bag, but these are more earrings. These are the ones, like the, the one pair that I did have success with, the gold ones. These are the silver versions of that. And I think these will work. 
except for it's still kind of bent right here, but I'm gonna have to work with that. See how this part always gets bent into the side, but these I can work with. They're not as smooth, but I'm hoping that I don't have to break them to make it work. Okay, I just twisted that one. So that one closed pretty well. And let's see, I just twisted this one. That one's still missing the mark. Let's try it again. Oh, we gotta twist it that way. Okay, so be delicate if you try to adjust these things. But these are cute. This is the one style that I liked so much in gold that I went ahead and ordered them in silver. And they are a size that I know that I can get on my ear with no problem. So we got that one. And then we've got a bracelet here. You have to make sure we don't have any more uh, inappropriate um, uh, what is it, symbols on this. So it looks like this. I'm just trying so hard to move fast. I'm forgetting to do it right. Okay, so let's open it up. It's a gold bracelet. And it looks like this. It's got a cute little dangly, is this a heart? Yeah, it looks like a little heart dangling from it. And it just opens up somewhere where this is oh it's one that lifts up so it lifts up either on this side or on the other side i don't want them. my fingernails are already fragile i don't have my assistant here with me and i don't want to break my nails All right, I'm really pushing it here. So let me just show you what it looks like. Got a couple of rhinestones and then some Roman numerals and then the hanging heart. And I would like to get this on for you. Oh, did I get it? Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. I got it open. going to take some work to get it on back on so I'm just going to show you it fold it in half Hold on. okay so here we go with it folded in half that's what it looks like it's not fastened but that's cute it's not locked but yeah that's cute So then I think I also got this in silver right here. There, it came in that bag. And there it is in silver. So these are nice. I'm trying to figure out though which end opened was quite the challenge. It shouldn't be that hard. Once you get familiar with it, you'll know Okay, this one I found a lot easier, I think, because the other one helped me. So let's see if I can just dangle this one. All right, so there we go. Give you a... And I'm always just, always gonna like silver better. I'm just always gonna like it better, regardless. There it is. I'll keep my arm bent so you can kind of see. And then if it did go this way, you can kind of see what it looks like if it falls in the opposite direction, like that. So yeah, that's pretty cute. I like that. I like them, but I like the silver more. Okay, the next 
thing I have is this. And what is in here? Ooh, this, now this right here I thought was really neat. I think I might have ordered two of these because it was so cool. So it's this long chain and it's the Bible. And it's, um, it's like a little metal Bible. And it's got scripture in here. Which one is it? Is it the, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Look at how well you can read that. I hope it's coming across. And it's got the whole scripture. It's got this little page in here that turns a couple of them. It's like a little metal book. I thought this was so neat. And we grew up in Sunday school. We This was the one scripture that they had us say every Sunday. Um, and I forgot some of it. And when I saw that, I was like, this is, this is cool. I wanted to see if it had uh, the book and the chapter. It doesn't. It just says Holy Bible on the front. But look at that, you guys. It actually just turns the pages. That is so neat. And then it just loops on like this. And it has the nice thick chains like I like. So this is a chain where it has the lobster claw. But if you didn't want to use it, you don't have to. But let me see. Let's go ahead and put this on. I think, I think for sure I ordered two of these. I hope I did. Okay. So there it is. I like this. Okay, the next item is a ring. Thought I was done with rings. Looks like this. And it's like a moon and a star ring. And it's an open ring, so you can adjust it to whatever hand you wanna put it on. You can wear it that way, wear it that way, whichever you prefer. Let's see. So you can do like that, or it can be like that. I don't know how I like this though. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Like what finger would I wear this on? Maybe a little better right here. I don't know, it kind of looks incomplete to me. Maybe if I had some nails, it might look a little better. But it's a nice ring. I just have to play around with it to see where it fits my finger the best. Because you know, every finger to me has a purpose, <laughs> I think. Every finger has their own ring See, it doesn't look right right there. It's a little too tight and I don't want to pull it open too much. But definitely when you have your nails done, that changes everything. So when I have my nails done, I'll revisit it and see where I like it. But for right now, I'll just leave it on this one so I don't forget to recap it. And then the next thing, <laughs> this is something, I don't know if you guys saw before where I bought that dragon ring and I bought it because I thought it would be something cool to hold like a pencil or something. And so when I saw this one, it said a size 17, which is interesting. I don't quite get why it says size 17, but it has a ring on the end, and then it has these little hands. See those little hands? And these hands, how do they work again? 
I think there's, they open up to hold something. So let's see. You put something in the little hands and then you slide this up to hold it, I think is how it works. I honestly don't remember now, but I think that's the idea. So let's see. Let's try to put these earrings in it. I just thought this was fun. I don't even know. Okay, so that's so thin. It's holding it, but it doesn't even need this to make it close tight. This little slide up bead right here. So it needs something. I was thinking something again, more like a pen. Let's try this one. Let's see, it holds it already. Oh no, that one comes out a little. Okay, so let's see if I slide this bead up, if this little hand will now hold on to it better. Oh, okay, so there you go. But I don't know what this truly is for, and if, if it is, it can't be a ring, because it won't, like, that's silly to have in a ring. I don't know, I think I must have just been in a weird mood the day that I made <laughs> this order, because I really don't know why I would have bought this thing. Like, did I really have a need for it? But this is what it is. Let's just call it a pair of helping hands, and maybe it'll come in handy for something, to hold something in place for me. Other than that, I don't know why I have it. Sometimes it'd be like that, I guess. You just order some weird stuff. Because they do have some interesting items to share with you. Okay, now let's pull out all the items I shoved in this bag and see if we can get out of here. It's 28 minutes, so we're still in a reasonable time frame. So, okay, these are all the same. So let me just pull them out. Now these were, well, these are, it's a pink one, a black one, and a blue one. There might be one more, but what they are, are, I think sweat bands, let's see. But they're real chintzy, like they're real, they just look like pieces of fabric that were cut and then tied and then sewn up right here. I think they were advertised as like sweat bands for working out at the gym because they're really thin, there's nothing to them. They don't really have a lot of stretch like I like in the headbands that I normally buy. So I'm not really happy with these. And I'm pretty sure they're all the same quality, but let's just go ahead and confirm that while I have them all out in front of me. So that was the pink one. Here's the black one, same thing. Just cheap, there's nothing to it, chintzy. And they're really tight compared to my normal headband. And then we got the blue one. I feel like there could be one more in there. We'll see as I continue to go through the bag. But the blue one, still the same. And I thought they were great because they were solid colors, you know, that I could use different colors that I might not have had um, in this style of a headband. But this one, I didn't get so lucky compared to the other ones. This is really cheap. This is really cheap. And if it is for sweating, I don't even like the material that they are made out of for sweating. They just don't feel like, they just feel like they cut strips of fabric. So I'm not happy with these. And I'm still salty about these two small shoes they sent me. I just can't even believe I didn't notice that. That's like an adult and a child. Okay, here's the next item. Another ring. <laughs> boy, oh boy, how many more pieces of jewelry do I not know about out there? All right, this ring, does it say a size? It says a size 10, that's a big one. That's what it looks like. This is definitely, if this doesn't fit on my thumb, then something's wrong. And is this silver? I think this is silver with some gold enhancements. 
it's silver with gold on the side. All right, and there you go. That's like a thumb for sure ring. But you could also do um, if it'll fit. Like I could also play around with it on, this is my bigger hand of the two, so I can play around with it on this finger over here. But it's gonna be too big for any of these fingers. I already know that, except for the thumb on this hand. So there's that one. Or on this one, we can do every finger except for the thumb. It's <laughs> so weird. So I can even do this one here. It's a little too big. It's too big for all of those, but this one, it will work. So that's that one. Now, let's see what else we have. More jewelry. That's what's in this one. This is a little silly one though. Again, this is one of the, along the lines of the weird stuff that I put, the weird stuff that I ordered. These had to be like, just pennies on the dollar for me to be buying this craziness. But let's see what they look like. It's a ring. You know how I always need my glasses, so I just, I think that's why I thought they were cute. It's a little pair of glasses ring. Yeah. <laughs> cute. And that just fits right here on your finger. So if I were to take this other one off, and fit this one on. That's what it looks like, a little pair of glasses. <laughs> It's so appropriate though, because I always need my glasses. I think that's why I ordered it. But what I don't like about it is just open like this, because obviously it's a pair of glasses. But I feel like you could lose this easily. But it's cute though. It feels very fragile though, like in the sense of, I feel like I could lose it if something bumped it. Oh, it's on there pretty good though. I guess if you pull the, the ear parts in pretty close, it might stay on there pretty good. It's not loosening up at all. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but that's cute though. <laughs> My little glasses. That's really cute. That's probably why I ordered it, because it's cute. So where are we gonna sit him? Let's put this one back on here. Let's take the glasses, let's put them, we'll put them on in the middle, and they fit that middle finger as well. This one is about as cute as that hug ring, these little glasses. Those are adorable. <laughs> okay. What else? Is this more earrings? What? In this bag. Uh, what are these? Hmm. I can't quite remember. Something to do with... Oh, okay, I, I remember. If you're trying to thread a needle, you take the needle hole. You, you see this little tiny piece here? You stick that through the needle hole, put your thread around it and pull it through. That's what these are. And it is a package of five. And these are the different colors. Of course they fall all over the place, of course. All right, let me see if I can hold them a little better because that little thing is pointy, it kind of hurts. It's not a needle, but it's like a, there we go. So you get these five colors and it helps you uh, so you're not squinting trying to get the thread in the um, the hole of the needle you just take that stick that in and loop the thread around it and then pull the thread through so
I do do some mending from time to time, so that will come in handy. Now this next, next item is useful in the kitchen. And this is if you have, okay, it works like this. When I push this, you see how that opens up? So if you have like a bread bag or one of those plastic bags that you can twist, that normally a twisty would go around, then you would um, twist it, stick it in here, and then release, and it'll hold it tight. It'll hold it twisted for you. Let's see if I can semi-demonstrate with this bag. So if you had some bread and you were done with the bread and you wanted to put it together, you stick it in here and let that hold it for you. But of course, you know, a bread package would be thicker, so it would hold it, it would have something to hold on to versus what I just showed you. So you get a package of one, two, three, so six of these came in this packet. And we always could use stuff like this in the kitchen for sure. All right, this next item, this is the crazy items haul. This is the haul that I can't even explain why I ordered this stuff. This one is almost embarrassing to even show. This one is for people who have a big nose and they want to reshape it or something. Let's see if I can get it open. Yeah, I thought this was so ridiculous. I'm like, people are actually trying to make their nose look like Michael Jackson or something. You stick it in here. Hold on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think that's how it works. I actually saw, I bought this to share with you guys some of the silly products that they had. And what made me buy this one is when I saw it, I'm like, who would buy that? And I actually went to the review and there was a review with the lady wearing this. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So not for me, I'm happy with my nose. This is my nose that I was born with and will leave this earth with. So I'm not going to be wearing this. It was just something silly along the lines of all these other silly things I've been buying or weird things. So yeah, that didn't even feel right. There's no way I would wear that. Okay, here's a next fun little quirky, see? Another fun quirky little item. This is a ring. And hopefully I'm not going too fast, but I feel like I'm, it's at 38 minutes already, so I need to keep it moving. This one's different, but fun. It's like a little watch. And does it have a size? Nope. It says silvery retro hip hop ring. This feels like it could be a pinky ring. Okay, it could fit, let me move the bow. It could fit here. Looks like a little watch. It's cute though, it's different. It's a little calm, you know, just more relaxed. But I like my, um, my bow back. Let's see if it fits over here. And go on this side. And then this is the right side up. I like how it's like a band with something to it, a little design, a little novelty. It's fun, it's a watch, but clearly it doesn't work. So we'll leave that there. Or let's put the bow over here and put this here. Okay, so we'll put that over there and then put the bowl over here.
All right, let's let's we'll see what's next. Another white envelope. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is um, a necklace. This is a necklace that you're supposed to be able to hold it up to the light and you're supposed to see something in a bunch of different languages. It has this little extender part here and then it has this part. And you're supposed to be able to put a light underneath that little part right there. And on the wall, a hundred different languages are supposed to show up saying either hello, thank you, or something. Now, when I did it, I saw nothing. I didn't see anything. I held it to the light, I had a flashlight, and I put it up against the wall. And I didn't see anything shoot out of here. I think this is the one that's supposed to do that. Hopefully I'm not saying it incorrectly. And then also, you were, okay, and then also on this one, you see how the little circle is in the middle, like how it hangs right there? Then you can take the chain off and you can put it the chain through here and let it hang that way. So you can wear it two different ways. So that was kind of cool, but as far as seeing, I don't know if it was hello in a bunch of different languages or love or some word that you were supposed to be able to see in a bunch of different languages. And I didn't see anything. So I don't know what to tell you on that one. Here's another envelope. Did I buy two of these? Possibly, knowing me. Of course I did. But this one looks a little different. This one looks like a shape of a heart, maybe? Let's see. I don't know if I tested this one, but I think it's supposed to do the same thing. Yeah, this one is silver. It has the extender piece here. And then it's the shape of a heart. And it's the same idea. And you can do the same thing on this one. You can flip it upside down, put the chain through this way and make it look like that. Or you can do it. This is probably the best way on this one because it looks like the center of the heart. But I did not see anything when I put this up to the light. And I don't know if I did this one or the other one. Whichever one I did, nothing showed up. So not surprised, not surprised. But that's how it was advertised, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'll put a note on the screen that, oh no, these were not the ones I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure these were the ones. Here's the other Bible that I'm wearing. So I knew I got two of these. These were just so nice. I had to get two. I thought this was so cool. This is gonna make a great gift. So there's the other one of that. And then, okay. These look like rings and they are rings, but they're not rings for you to wear. Let me tell you what kind of rings these are. I thought this was, uh, definitely handy to have. You get a set of two because they're for, I believe they're for two different sizes, but they look the same. So they look the same, so I don't think they're for two, you just get two of them. And what they are, and the picture will show you, if you're trying to fix a ring and you needed something to hold the O-rings, you can slide them in here and this will hold them taut so you can open them or close them. So it's kind of like a tool, really. It's like a jewelry tool. But if you needed to wear it as a ring, you could do that as well. But it's really a tool to help you 
fix and adjust your jewelry. So that's what this is. It's kind of thick for um, a ring ring, but if someone likes it thick like that, you could totally get away with doing that. I mean, of course, you can do whatever you want with your stuff. But um, here's the next item. And these are two necklaces. It came a set of two. And they are, if you watch Harry Potter, you know when they played the cricket game? That's what these remind me of. These, it's like that little ball that has wings on it that's flying all around or you could see them as angel wings. So it depends on how you want to look at it. But this is the first one. It's bronze. And it has the extender piece right here. And then here is the bracelet. And it's bronze with the, the silver ball in the middle. And you can see these are totally wings. So to me, I choose to look at them as angel wings. And this is the bronze version. It's pretty small, so that extender piece is gonna have to come in handy. And then there's a silver one. And let me show you what that one looks like. I believe, oh, I think they're both nice though. You know, I'm always drawn to silver. So I was gonna say, I, I think I like the silver one better. But let's just do a, an, a fair comparison and see give it a fair shot. So here's the silver one. Same idea. Silver wings. And then there's the extender piece. And then here's the bronze. So let's hold them up together. And you tell me which one you like the best. I think the bronze one is nice. It's a little toned down. So which one do you think looks the best, silver or bronze? Um, I like them both actually. I can't say, like the bronze one right now would go with what I'm wearing the best. The bronze one would. And it's got, you know, even though these look chintzy and thin, the, the angel wings part has some good weight to them. You know, for them to be so small and for the price. So, okay, here's that last sweatband. I'm not gonna open it, but it's like these three, these here, these three that I already opened. This is the fourth one. I thought I had a fourth one. So, all right, all right, all right. I heard you, I'll go ahead and open it. We'll make it quick. Same bootleg fabric, same cheap, minimal stretch. All right, and is that everything? And just one more, one more bracelet. And it is a silver angel wing bracelet, like this one. And I got an extra one to give to one of you guys. So if any of you guys are interested in winning this little bracelet, I'm not even gonna announce it as a giveaway, but if you watch the video to the end and you want a chance to win this silver one, then just say, I would like the silver one in the comments. That's all you gotta do. Just say, I would like the silver one. And when I post this video, a week from when this video is posted, I'll pick a winner, okay? I like the silver one, or I want the, what did I just say? I want the silver one, I like the silver one, anything along those lines, I'll know what you're talking about. All right, you guys, so that, is all that I had stuffed in here. This is so cute, so cute. I really like this bag. They really got some nice bags at Timo. They really do. I've got a lot of bag options now. But anyways, you guys, um, as normal, Timo, an online marketplace, you can find pretty much 
anything you're looking for, not anything, but many things are what you're looking for. Um, if you're interested in any of these items or any items you might see on their website that's normally marked down 90% or more, um, well not more, but I always say that up to 90%, um, then you can use my discount code of OPT43129 and all of these items will be linked in the description box and in the first pinned comment. If I don't have room to get them all in the description box, I'll put in there what I can, but the full list will be in the first pinned comment because this is quite a bit and I don't know that all of this I can get in the description box only, but in the perfect world, the descriptions and the links will be in both areas. If not, whatever I can get in the description will be in there, and then the full list will be the first pin comment in the comment section. Again, my discount code is OPT43129. I'm on the road to 16,000 subscribers. If you like my videos and you want to see more of my videos that are like this, please subscribe. If not, go ahead and at least hit the thumbs up button and let me know you at least enjoyed today's video. So do I wanna do a quick recap because it was so much stuff. Let me see if I can just do it real, real quick. I'm gonna go through this quicker than you've ever seen me go through stuff. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this beautiful pair of black and white shoes. And then I got another pair in pink that I realized are too small. So we're gonna have to fix that. Then I ordered these two scalp scratchers, nice and cute and petite. And then I have this uh, sheet of hooks to put in my shower for the convenience of hooking things up and taking them out when I'm done. I bought this jewelry organizer that allows you to order necklaces, bracelets, necklaces here on the back and these hoops, bracelets and earrings on the front and these pockets. From there, we ordered or we ordered. I shared with you this family portable toilet. It's a two-piecer. It has one where it turns a woman into a man and allows her to stand up and urinate. And then the other one is a container that allows you to relieve yourself if you drank a six pack of beer, it expands and then decreases. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, and then it decreases back to its normal size. So something to keep in your car or at home. Um, I have these two clips to help you hold trash can bags down so that they don't come out when you put trash in them. You put it in the trash can and you stick these on the top and it helps hold them in place. And then from there, I have these cheap, cheap, I believe they're advertised as sweatbands. They don't have a lot to them. Very thin, just really look like basic pieces of fabric that have just been cut up and sewn in the back. So not too ex uh, excited or pleased with that quality. I got this cute, cute, cute little bag right here. This little rhinestone bag that gives you three ways to carry it. You can carry it this way. You can carry it this way and let that hang. Or you can open this one up and make it a single strand and have a crossbody or just a shoulder bag. Very cute, great price for that. And then I shared with you these bag ties for the kitchen that they slide open. If you want to uh, reseal a bag, you slide it open, pop it in there and slide it back and it closes it up. Helps to keep things fresh. From there, we went to some crazy items. Okay, we went to some crazy items, but let's see what I have in front of me. We have this silver necklace and this gold necklace that's supposed to allow you to see, I think it's hello, there's a, there's a word you're supposed to be able to see, it might be love. You're supposed to be able to put a light behind it and then put it on the wall and then see that word. There's a gold one as a circle and then there's a silver one as a heart. Then we have the, angel wings and the gold ball 
And then we have the one that I'm giving away, the silver one, to someone who lets me know that they want to win it. They're going to leave that comment. I want the silver one. I like the silver one. Give me the silver one. Anything like that. I'll know what you're talking about. And then there's this two ring set like this to help you fix. It's really a tool to help fix your jewelry. You could wear it as a ring if you choose to. There's this silly little <laughs> piece of hands. I'm gonna call them helping hands. I really don't know why I ordered this. I think it was for a cigarette. Now it's coming back to me. I think it was to put a cigarette in here and then you can, I think that's what it was. The pictures will tell the story though. I just don't have the pictures in front of me. This might've been for a cigarette. Okay, and then from there, I think I showed you the Bible here, the metal Bible book, which I love. This is a, I got two of these. This is the one I'm wearing now. And then this thing for people who want a Michael Jackson nose, you wear this contraption, look ridiculous and probably get zero results. Um, I don't know why I bought that. Just it was crazy um and then what's in here oh and then my only other pair of earrings that i think i'm really gonna like i got these in gold and now i have them in silver and i really do like these and i wear the gold ones and they work two bracelets that are the same one in gold and one in silver i like the silver one better but they have roman numerals and little rhinestones across the front and then I've got this ring, this little clock ring, which is a fun novelty ring, along with the glasses. So I never forget my glasses. And then they have this moon and star ring. This big, big, I think this is a male ring, honestly. This is a big old size 10 ring. And then my beautiful pink gold ring. And that is it. Oh, I lied. One more thing. Try to, oh, and these, ooh. Okay, hold on. And these little, um, this five piece set of needle threaders. These things hurt. Let I me mean, just go slow. And, ooh, ooh, okay. See, it's already trying to poke, rip my skin out. Okay, this little set of needle threaders. This thing is sharp, whatever's at the tip of it. <laughs> but it helps you thread those needles um, with ease. And then that, my friends, is everything that is on this table. I think that's all that I have for now. So don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you at least like today's video. With that all being said, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And I'll have on a different shirt this time.